Hi there. Over the past few days, I've been experimenting with this rhythmic concept that essentially combines the ideas of a polyrhythm with a polymeter. For the time being, I'm referring to it as a submeter. If any rhythmic experts out there know of a better name for it or have studied this sort of thing before, let me know and I'll be happy to start using another name. So, before we go into explaining exactly what I mean by a submeter, we're going to start with just a simple polyrhythm, and then we'll build up in complexity from there. So, we'll start with a 5-4 polyrhythm. Left hand playing 5 notes per measure, right hand playing 4 notes per measure, all evenly spaced. more complicated. Instead of the right hand playing one note over and over again, we'll just cycle through a pattern of four notes. Not terribly difficult. The reason why it's not more difficult than a simple polyrhythm is because the number of notes in the pattern is an even multiple of the number of notes being played per measure. It's trivially true that 4 is a multiple of 4. But what I would like to do with this idea of the submeter is have a number of notes in our cycle that is not a factor or a multiple of the number of notes being played per measure. So we'll start with the simplest example. In our 5-4 polyrhythm, the 5 voice will be cycling through a pattern of 2 notes, or essentially just alternating back and forth. But 2 is not a factor or a multiple of 5, which adds a little bit of complexity to it. see the note that starts each measure changes each time. The first measure is the note being played by my index finger. The second measure is the note being played by my ring finger. Okay, so let's try it on the other hand. We're going to take Instead of just the same note four times in a row, we're going to cycle through a pattern of three notes, which again is not a factor or a multiple of four. Make it a little bit more complicated. starts each measure, the first beat changes each time. First time it's the index finger, second time it's the middle finger, third time it's the ring finger, and then it starts over again. So what I like to do now is combine the last two examples into a sort of double submeter. We're doing a 5-4 polyrhythm where the 5 voice has a submeter of 2 and the 4 voice has a submeter of 3. Put them together, and I'll see how it sounds. That was one complete cycle for it to start with the same note on this, at the beginning of the measure two different times. I think it took six measures to get there. So as you can see, adding submeters to a polyrhythm can add a nice layer of complexity to it and make it seem sort of ethereal or dreamy in the sense that it's not as obvious to the listener when it's syncing up again. It feels like it's just sort of 
flowing and tumbling along, and it just goes on forever without actually repeating anything. Which isn't true, it does repeat every six measures or so, depending on what submeter you use. But the listener doesn't know that. So, I think this is a cool concept. I would love to see how it can be incorporated into your music. Send me a video if you can find a way to use it. Have fun.